hello students welcome back to my channel in this video i am going to discuss about the multiple choice questions based on chemical bonding nacl is classified as having what kind of bonds in the solid phase so in the solid phase nacl is having ionic bond the bond formed due to sharing of electrons is a covalent bond is formed due to the sharing of electrons in sodium chloride crystal each sodium ion is surrounded by so in sodium chloride crystal each sodium ion is surrounded by six chloride ions which of the following molecule contains a pi bond in order to identify the pi bond we have to consider the structural formula so coming to the h2 here it is having h bond h coming to the oxygen molecule a double bond is present between the two oxygen atoms so option b is the right answer oxygen is having a pi bond electronic theory of valency was proposed by electronic theory was proposed by cosell and lewis indicate the nature of bonding in diamond a diamond consists of carbon atoms so covalent bond is present in diamond which of the following is favorable condition for the formation of ionic bond a small cation with small charge cation is supposed to have large size second option large difference in the electronegativity so it is the favorable condition for the formation of ionic bond so the electronegativity difference between the two atoms should be greater than 1.7 for the formation of ionic bond so option b is the right answer ionic compounds are non conductors in the solid state due to generally ionic compounds contains ions but in the solid state the ions are not available in the free state so in the solid state ionic compounds are non conductors due to the absence of free ions an element a of atomic number 12 combines with an element of b atomic number 17 the compound formed is so if the element is having atomic number 12 its configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p6 and 3s2 so two electrons are present in the outermost orbit and coming to the element b its atomic number is 17 and hence its configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 and 3p5 seven electrons are present in the valency state so here the compound formed is ionic a b2 type and the example is magnesium chloride in the molecule in the hcl molecules the bonding between hydrogen and chloride is hcl is good example for a covalent bond that too it contains polar covalent bond so the bond present between hydrogen and chloride of hcl molecules is polar covalent bond the number of valency electrons in carbon atom is so what is the atomic number of carbon atom that is 6 its configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p2 so the number of electrons present in the valency shell is 4 and hence option c is the right answer which of the following compounds is ionic potassium iodide is ionic which is likely to have highest melting point generally ionic compounds exhibits highest melting point in the given options cesium fluoride is the ionic compound so it exhibits highest melting point 
which of the following compound is covalent oxygen is good example for covalent compound which of the following has no multiple bonds so in order to identify which compound is not having multiple bonds again we have to consider this structural formula so coming to the hcl a triple bond is present between carbon and nitrogen and coming to the option b it is ethylene a double bond is present between the two carbon atoms coming to the option c it is called as hydrogen and it always contains only single bonds so option c is the right answer nitrogen molecule contains so again here we have to consider the structural formula so a triple bond is present between the two nitrogen atoms first one is the sigma bond and the other two bonds are pi bonds so nitrogen molecule contains one sigma and two pi bonds so option d is the right answer the ion that is isoelectronic with carbon monoxide is isoelectronic means which contains same number of electrons as like that of carbon monoxide so the number of electrons present in the carbon monoxide are so in the case of carbon 6 electrons are present and in the case of oxygen 18 electrons are present so on the whole 14 electrons are present in carbon monoxide and in the given options we have to identify which ion contains 14 electrons coming to the first option here the carbon contains 6 electrons and n minus nitrogen contains 7 electrons and minus is present that means it also contains 8 electrons so option a is the right answer cyanide ion is iso electronic with carbon monoxide in the gaseous state ionic character is greatest in so even in the gaseous state which of the following compound contains ionic character that means we have to identify which of the following compound contains greatest ionic character so ionic bond is formed between a cation and the anion if the cation is same then we have to identify the size of the anion if the size of the anion is very small it results in the formation of strong ionic bond so in this case option b is the right answer so hydrogen fluoride exhibits greatest ionic character even in the gaseous state the covalent compound hcl has ionic character because so hcl is having polar covalent bond so it exhibits ionic character and that ionic character is mainly due to the fact that the electronegativity of chloride is greater than that of the hydrogen so actually in hcl the electrons are more attracted towards the chloride atom and hence the chloride gains partial negative charge whereas the hydrogen gains the partial positive charge and it is mainly due to the fact that electronegativity of chloride is greater than hydrogen so option c is the right answer the electronic configuration of an atom is 1s2 2s2 2p6 it can form so if you carefully observe the outermost orbit configuration it is similar to that of ns2 np6 it is the inert gas configuration with the result these elements will not form any compound so option c is the right answer so if the electronic configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p6 it will not form any compound which compound is not ionically bonded so that means we have to identify which of the following compound is not ionic so generally organic compounds involves the formation of 
covalent bond so option d that is methyl chloride is not an ionic compound when a molecule breaks so let us see the formation of a molecule from the corresponding atoms so let us suppose a and b are the two atoms that combines to form the molecule it involves the release of the energy so if this molecule undergoes breakage then what happens gain of energy takes place so energy will be absorbed so option b is the right answer which of the following involves coordination covalent bond option d is the right answer sulfuric acid involves the formation of covalent bond that to coordination covalent bond which atomic orbital is always involved in sigma bond only so whenever if we consider s orbital it involves in the formation of only sigma bond so option a is the right answer clear students substances which can donate a pair of electrons to form a coordination covalent bond are called so an element which is capable of donating a lone pair of electrons is truly called as lewis bases so in this case option b that is bases is the right answer when an active metal that means when a metal combines with an active non metal the resulting compound is generally in between a metal and a non metal it results in the formation of an ionic bond for pure covalent bond to be formed the combining atoms should have generally a pure covalent bond is formed between the atoms of the same element best examples are h2 o2 n2 that means the two atoms are having same electronegativity so in this case option a is the right answer nitrogen molecule contains so what type of bond is present in the nitrogen molecule so in nitrogen molecule covalent bond is present so option b is the right answer which of the following is an ionic compound so once if you check the options here covalent bond is present in organic molecules so methane contains covalent bond carbon dioxide contains covalent bond graphite means it is an allotropy of carbon it also contains the covalent compound and hence option c is the right answer the covalency of nitrogen in h and o2 is so what is the covalency of nitrogen students it is 3 so option c is the right answer is it clear about the multiple choice questions based upon the chemical bonding students if you like the video don't forget to like share and comment thanks for watching have a nice day